On June 4, 2016, Beale Air Force Base held an official redesignation ceremony of the 940th Wing to the 940th Air Refueling Wing. During the event, Colonel Craig C. Peters was introduced as the new commander. The event also included the 940th Operations Group and 940th Maintenance Group Assumptions of Command. The 940th Wing flew KC-135 Stratotankers for more than three decades until 2005 when a base realignment and closure commission realigned the unit. The last KC-135 left Beale in 2008. Uh, we're just very happy about this opportunity to bring the 135 back, kind of bring some history back to, uh, to Beale. Uh, I know a lot of people who've come in active duty haven't seen the tanker here, so it's very new to them. Uh, for us, it's old hat. The KC-135 Stratotanker provides core aerial refueling capability for the United States and has excelled in this role for more than 50 years. This unique asset enhances the Air Force's capability to accomplish its primary mission of global reach and also provides air refueling support to Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and allied nation aircraft. Well, the primary mission of the KC-135 is air refueling. So we're going to be air refueling various aircrafts, everything from heavies, KC-10s, C-17s down south at Travis, all the way to uh, F-15s from Klamath Falls, Vipers, F-35s, F-22s, everything we have, we can refuel. Bringing this mission and eight KC-135 aircraft back to Beale will not only increase personnel within the 940th by roughly 300 people, but will also expand Beale's contribution to the overall Air Force mission and local community. To have a unit that gets fracked, change missions, and then be coming back to be reestablished as an air refueling wing is a true testament to not only the strategic location of Beale, but to your ability to accomplish the mission. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman Tommy Wilburn.